Fated to be loved by Phil Insep. One Punch, Beatrix, is Elfant Academy Student Council Secretary and had been the President's confidant for over years. That also meant that she was the most angry than anyone else when it comes to Anor running late for an appointment. That woman really went crazy. Beatrix gritted her teeth as she watched the time tick on her wristwatch. If anything, shouldn't the most important person like the student council president be the one to arrive minutes early? Senior. Count Creighton has just arrived. Marquis Galanty is here. And as the cherry on top was these types of news, which were only fueling her anger. Alphantis entrance ceremony was not just an academy event, it's also a gathering of the Empire's key figures looking to build relations, to think that she's unable to keep even the most basic thing like time commitment in front of such people. As Beatrix tried to douse her rage, someone opened the door of the student council room, it was a blood-soaked Elnor. Everyone, even Beatrix was silent, meanwhile, Elnor walked into the room and put her sword down on the desk with a sigh. Eventually, one of the students couldn't hold it any longer and he kept at the bloody sight. Something wrong. It's only then did Elnor notice the strange silence. Beatrix messaged her throbbing temple and replied, I have so many questions but I'll sum it up in one so please answer me straight. What have you been doing? Just some clean up. Having been together for years, Beatrix instantly knew that this was something that shouldn't be talked about in public. She got it so fast, in fact, that she deserved praise. I have to apologize, but the President and I will take care of things from here. I'd like to ask everyone to leave. Beatrix kindly sent off the other students with a bright smile, however, as soon as the last one left, her expression instantly darkened into a devil's. What did you do this time? Nothing, didn't I say that I just did some clean up? If no one is dead, then I'll agree with you. It's not that many, only around people. Barely keeping her senses after taking some deep breaths, Beatrix continued with a trembling voice to the still expressionless Elnor. For what reason are you killing this time? You're making me sound like a crazed whimsical murderer. Elnor calmly replied as she casually wiped off the blood from her sword. They were assassins trying to murder me, they dropped a rock on the train on the way to the academy and made it seem like an accident, I took care of them since I'm close by, she spoke as natural as the sun rising in the sky, you can just leave it up to the academy. Isn't that cumbersome? With someone behind them, there's no resolving this legally, it'll obviously be annoying in the future so I nipped the buds in advance. Beatrix clenched her sweaty palms, leaving aside how Elnor managed to find the girls behind this in less than a day, they were clearly the best among their pros, after all, no one in power that could evade the law would just hire some random thugs, and the fact that she killed all people of such caliber alone. It's amazing how she could express such things calmly, like it's a very natural thing and it wasn't strange to kill as long as they're counted as her enemy. It's almost as if the dormant evil within her would awaken whenever there's an opportunity. Or did you want me to be just and perfect? That despite having my life threatened. I'll benevolently spare the culprits. Beatrix felt her mouth dry, because she could see the utter disgust in Elnor's eyes when she asked this. Beatrix knew better than anyone else that this was Elnor's royal ire. Well, that's it, you won't force me to do that. Fortunately, Elnor withdrew her gaze after polishing her sword. Freed from the pressure, Beatrix breathed sigh of relief as she wiped the sweat off her forehead. This wasn't even supposed to be the topic. There's something more urgent right now, Elnor. Young. Everything's good and all, but you'll be late if you don't change and get ready. Shouldn't you hurry up if you don't want to die? Saying this sentence to someone who just killed professional assassins requires the highest level of courage, however, the determination in Beatrix's eyes was firm. Elnor deeply sighed deeply with a hint of annoyance. I get it, I get it. I hope the sparring is fun at least. If I have to face those snakes shouldn't I have fun at least? You won't have to worry about that. Having said that, Beatrix rummaged through the information in her head. If you go now you'll catch a freshman who's famed to be a prodigy. The match is Elijah Chrysanax. Stout. Doubt. What was it? 
Dowd Campbell, Beatrix's eyes widened. Yes, but how did you remember? That guy has nothing going for him. After a bit of silence, Elnor smirked. He's an odd man. Odd? Yes. Otherwise, there's no way she'd say something like this from the get-go, as if she knew the darkness within her. Elnor rose from her seat with a smile. Let's go. We'll be late if we don't hurry. Your attitude is a little different from before. You look expectant. The man's interesting, that's all, Elnor chuckled. Let me see what you got in this sparring. Mm -hmm.